Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'd like to show you how you can build a flush 4x4 piston slime block door that looks like this when it opens and closes and as you can see this is quite small it's not as small as the 3x3 door but therefore there are quite a lot more mechanics to this and the wiring is a bit complicated and quite uh, compact so not that easy to understand but I will try my best to explain to you how you can build this and for building this you will just basically need uh, redstone dust, repeaters, furnaces, slime blocks, sticky pistons and some building blocks because if you got these in like a stack of each you should have enough to build the store maybe a bit more building blocks and then you need a little bit of sand, uh, a redstone block, one button and two comparator and that's then basically it so I hope that you will enjoy this tutorial. It was a bit of work to get this uh, done, but you were asking if I could do a 4x4 door after I did the 3x3 door in my last tutorial. So here it is, enjoy the tutorial. We will start with the piston placement for the lower half. Therefore I have the door now recreated here, so we want to remove the 4x4 area out of white stained glass. And then we can just grab the blocks here on the corner by a piston that grabs them from down below, like this. And uh, these blocks here, the middle, we want to grab with slime blocks and make a uh, yeah, sticky piston, uh, double piston extender with slime blocks, like this. And then there are these two blocks left and we can grab these by putting a sticky piston here that will retract the uh, glass block to right here so this sticky piston or the slime block can grab it and bring it down and uh, then we need to grab these pistons too and therefore we place two more slime blocks underneath put a block on top so the floor looks nice afterwards and then we can also do the double piston extender thing here and uh, therefore just uh, place the upper piston next to the upper piston and the lower piston next to the uh, over here then and over here we do it the other way around so the lower piston is next to each other and the upper piston right here and then you have already all the pistons for the lower half in place. Now we want to wire all these pistons up and since this is a bit complicated watch carefully so first up we go to these pistons and place blocks underneath then blocks next to it so we can power these blocks with redstone and then we need a block here so if we place a repeater here on a third delay we can uh, yeah, power these pistons with three ticks. Then we want to place a block on top of here, place a repeater on the second delay and a furnace in front, then place another block on top of this block and a redstone dust and a furnace next to it. So this will power these three pistons here and uh, then we can connect them by, yeah, let's just start on this side. We want to have uh, a block also next to this piston so we can wire it up like this and then we place a repeater on the first delay right here and this will be connected just through a few more blocks like this going up and then to down again and then over here we go up again by one block so we can um, have a block here and then a redstone dust here which will power the block and the repeater down there then a redstone there which will power this piston and we will power this redstone by a block next to it and a repeater on the first delay and then we can just connect this with redstone dust and bring it all over the place and uh, then we should have this already powered uh, or wired so we can just try it out place a redstone block and as you can see all the pistons extend and if we take away the power it will retract again but if we bring the power again you see that these aren't powered so we can place six furnaces on both sides just like this and uh, then bring in a block, a half slab and then from here we can just build a staircase going up to this half slab and bring the power in 
And as you can see, this is now extended. Same on this side, just we also already have one step there, so we need one step less. Then place the half slab and connect this with redstone. And then it's time to try it again. Remove the block, everything goes down. Place the block, everything goes up. And the first half of the door is done. For the second half of the door, we again take slime blocks and as for the 3x3 door, we are using a jab door mechanic, but this time it's more complicated because we want to grab the blocks from the center. As you can see, when I extend the bottom thing here, we can't have any slime blocks in this area because then they would just stick together and we can't open the door anymore. So in this case, I've got the slime blocks here on the sides like this and uh, then we grab the blocks from the middle with the sticky pistons right here and that is kind of the drop down mechanic with slime blocks then we will uh, grab the blocks yeah, from the center like this and uh, then we will grab uh, the slime blocks just with one sticky piston so like this let me do it also on the other side so we can see it in action so we're grabbing uh, all these blocks and as you can see we're opening the complete um, second half and then we can just uh, grab these blocks with uh, sticky pistons from back here so one goes right here and the other one goes then right here and same on the other side one here and one there and then we've got the pistons in place because when I grab this and this, the door is opened. The redstone for these sticky pistons is quite complicated because we need to get a lot of timings right, but the good thing is that we can mirror it. So I already built it on one side and we can now wire up the second side together and you can just mirror it. Uh, so what we want to see then is that it does this. It brings up the blocks and it retracts them and therefore we need to get the right order and if you know what a ABBA signal is uh, we need to do that but with four inputs so let me show you how to build this I guess that's the best thing so first up we will want to start with uh, 12 um, furnaces up on top here so we uh, don't interfere with the slime blocks and then we want to place in our inputs so the first input goes right here next to this sticky piston and when this extends, we'll have the second input here above this sticky piston. Then the next is this one and it will have its input right here because we then move two blocks in this direction. And then the last one are these two, but they move two blocks over, so to here and one forward, so to there. And the input is then right here. And now to wire this up, we want to start right here in the middle because that's where our input is. We place a redstone dust here and then here and from here we just take the signal with one tick delay and bring it into this redstone dust here from there we can grab it bring it into a block go over to there and put it on two ticks delay because then the pistons down here extend correctly and from here we won't continue the signal because we need this circuit later on to block the pistons until the other ones are retracted. So we create a second circuit right here with two ticks delay. And then we want to bring it into here, but we don't have the space to do it right away. So we need to bring the signal around a little bit and therefore place four redstone dust like this and then bring it up by one block, a repeater on the full delay and then into a block and this will then also power uh, this redstone dust right here and we can bring the signal into the middle where it powers the block underneath or the redstone there for the last sticky piston but now the problem is that we won't retract correctly you see the extending works but the retracting it just leaves the blocks there so uh, we need to um, yes keep the power inside until certain parts are done and therefore we can grab the signal from this block because underneath here this faces into the block and uh, so we can put a repeater on two ticks delay to keep this powered 
So two ticks there and four ticks here to keep the rest powered. And if I remove the block now, we will see that the upper part works. The last thing we have to do is to connect these two parts. And the important thing therefore is that we always do the lower part yeah, when the upper part is uh, done kind of. So uh, we need to wait until the upper part is closed before we close the lower part. And before we open the upper part, we need to uh, open the lower part. So like this, because otherwise the slime blocks won't uh, move because they are sticking to other blocks down there. And um, wiring this up is super easy. We can just put down two blocks here and repeat us on full delay. Then a block here and uh, put a redstone torch underneath. Like this. This will now extend the part, but that doesn't really matter. Then we want to have a sticky piston here with a block on top. And then you need to grab a gravity block like sand or gravel and bring it up to right here and have a repeater there. And then a block here and a repeater here. This is without delay and a redstone block there. And if we power now the redstone torch down there will unpower the whole thing and the door will open but this one was now quite short so we want to add a pulse extender as well so just place down two comparator right here facing in facing out connect them with redstone dust like this and uh, then one redstone dust here and if we do now any input to the door, you'll see that it will open and then it will close again. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and leave me a comment about this door. I can tell you this was quite some work to do and I don't think that I would do a five by five door, but I think that this is quite cool. Uh, just to look at and maybe just for trying it out. Of course, you can decorate it with a few blocks over here so it looks nicer. For example, you can place some furnaces here so you have the floor covered and uh, the rest you will figure out yourself if you got to this point where you can place the blocks uh, to encase it. But yeah, that's it for me and I will see you in the next video.